Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and today it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on isometric views. So this over here is the problem and this is the front view of a certain object and this is the top view. Now looking at this in the top view, we're going to determine its length as well as breadth. Now guys, if you can see this over here represents the breadth and this distance, okay, it represents the length. If you can work out, this is 30 plus 38. So the length is going to be equal to 68 millimeters. As far as the breadth is concerned, you can see this breadth is how much 30 plus 15 plus 15. That means breadth is 60 millimeters. So what we've got to do is I've taken length along this axis. Okay. This is going to be 68. And as far as the breadth is concerned, I've taken the breadth along this axis. This is going to be 60. All right. So what about the height? The overall height of this entire object is 18 millimeters. Apart from that, some other features which are extremely important are one is this drill okay this drill is having a depth of how much 18 millimeters and this drill in fact is having a diameter of 30 okay apart from that um this again is a hidden line okay something which is there and which cannot be seen is drawn with the help of a hidden line so there is an edge over here and when you try to look at this particular object from over here you won't be able to see this edge there is in fact an edge it may appear as a point but there we we have an edge all right so let's see how all of this can be done so right now this is 68 length and this over here is 60 that is spread what i'm going to do is keep your drafters over here mini drafters tighten the screw okay bring it to this point draw a line that's it again keep your drafters over here tighten the screw then bring it to this point and then again draw a line in the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it its absolute height which is 18 millimeters so let us go 18 millimeters above this way and I'm going to do the same stuff to the, for the remaining points also 18 18 again 18 yeah pretty good and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join all the points that I've shifted above again okay this way all right now this is the isometric view there are certain edges in fact which will not be visible in the isometric views those edges are these that i've selected right now and let me delete them right now okay for better clarity all right how to approach this okay initially i'm going to begin by making this semicircle all right making this semicircle this semicircle has a radii of 30 millimeters so essentially what we need to do is we need to make the isometric view of this semicircle over here Okay, we know how to draw the isometric view of a circle and based on that logic only, I'm going to be drawing this isometric view of a semicircle. All right, so what to do next? You can see that there is a point over here at the center. Okay, at the center there is a point and from this point onwards, I'm going to go how much this is going to be 30 steps. That is 30 millimeters. So let us select the center. All right, center selected. And in the next step, I'll travel 30 millimeters this way. Okay, so this is the radius to the left of the center, to the left of the center, this is the radius and I'm going to do this towards the right of the uh, center also. Um, let me copy this, okay. What you guys can do is you keep your scale over here and from this center point you need to travel a distance again of 30 millimeters, obviously. Now, in the next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this, let me, let me see, okay, somewhere here. So this is also going to be 30, again, this way and I'm going to copy this. Okay, you guys can travel here by an amount of 30 millimeters. All right, it's going to look something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing a semicircle over here. Okay, isometric view of a semicircle. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be enclosing this. Let, let me tell you how exactly it will be done this way. Okay, now this semicircle can only be seen in the top view. Okay, that's why I've made a horizontal plane over here inside which I'll be inscribing a semicircle. Okay, now this appears as uh, what do you call a rhombus. So you have to check the smaller diagonal. This is the larger diagonal and this is the smaller diagonal. So from one corner of this smaller diagonal, you need to put lines over to the remaining two sides. So this is the side and this is the center of that side. So join it again, start a line from here and on the opposite side, check where its center is and then join it okay the same stuff has to be repeated this is the corner and this is the opposite side and this is the center of that side this is the corner this over here is the opposite side and this is its center that's it 
now what we need to do is we need to draw a semicircle okay so taking this guy as the center let me zoom on this taking this guy as the center and this much as the radius okay we need to draw this again taking this guy as the center and this much as the radius i'm going to draw one more arc so this is essentially what we call isometric view of a semicircle okay now let me get rid of all of this construction all right so what shall be done now now there is a semicircle at the top similarly there is a semicircle at the bottom also how can that semicircle be made okay we'll deal with that in a short while but before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to locate this center again so this is the center and based on this center i'm going to be drawing this circle onto this isometric view okay now this particular circle is having a radius of how much 15 because its diameter is obviously 30 that's why so essentially what i'm trying to say is take this center okay you need to travel here 15 millimeters okay this way okay same stuff you need to travel here again 15 millimeters all right this way same stuff has to be repeated over to this side mm, this way yeah pretty good let me delete this just for now same stuff again 15 millimeters now inside this rhombus let me show you how the rhombus will be prepared keep your drafters on the line that i've selected just now okay tighten the screw bring it over here draw a line bring it over here draw a line that's it again repeat the same step for this line okay keep your drafters along this line aligned along this line tighten the screw bring it over here and here so that's the rhombus inside which we're going to be inscribing the isometric view of a circle look at the smaller diagonal this is the smaller diagonal of the rhombus okay so one corner is this and this is the other corner so from this corner and on the opposite sides center you need to draw a line this way and this way similarly you've got to repeat the step for this corner also there you go and now using this guy as center and then this and then this and finally this will be making arcs and that eventually will work out as the isometric view of a semicircle watch keep on watching center radius arc okay again center radius arc again center radius arc now, that's pretty good so this over here represents the isometric view of a circle of diameter 30 millimeters all right now let me remove this construction what to do now now that the bottom portion here is going to be pretty much same okay so let us see how that can be made so what you need to do is you need to come downwards from this point just make a point don't make a line as i'm making just make a point okay and from randomly select any point on this curve and then make a point this is going to be that point again make any point again select any point and then do the same stuff randomly select any point and make a point over here how much below 18 millimeter below keep on doing the same stuff and you're going to eventually see that this there is a curve over here okay and you can go as far as let me show you where you can go as much as you can go as much as here that's it that's the maximum okay you cannot go further all right so what essentially i'm going to be doing is this i'm going to be drawing joining all these points with the help of a smooth curve and finally this is what you're going to obtain there you go okay and you don't have to draw this extra portion what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be chop chipping off this okay let, let me bring this further down yeah that's good that's good okay so this is exactly how this semicircular profile looks so, okay so now let me delete this you just need to make points how much below 18 millimeter below okay all right yeah that's pretty good what's next okay so just like there is a circle here a 30 millimeter circle 30 millimeter diameter circle um, there is going to be a circle down below also because the depth of this circle is 18 millimeters so what we're going to be doing is from this circle i'm going to be traveling 18 millimeters downwards okay so let us try and do that yeah you just need to mark points from here here keep on marking those points okay something like this keep on marking points yeah pretty good and these are the points that we have marked okay now if we try to join all these points 
it's going to look something like this let me show you okay the circle down below is going to look something like this um where is it where is it gone uh, it's going to look yeah like this okay only this much portion of the circle is going to be visible yeah only this much portion all right and hence you have to delete the remaining portion okay so don't draw that if you're doing doing this stuff with the help of a pencil don't do that uh, let me delete all of this that's it that's exactly what you're going to see in the isometric view okay now there are few modifications yet to be carried out you watch this profile this is 15 and then we have to travel here 10 then 30 then towards the right 10 then 15 again okay so from this point 15 so let us try and do that this point 15 okay here we need to travel by an amount of 10 all right again here we need to travel by an amount of 30 and here we need to travel again 10 yeah that's that's pretty good okay so essentially there is going to be the same profile down below also but only some portion of that profile is going to be visible to us let me tell you what that profile is or how exactly that profile looks okay it's going to look something like this let me let me try to make the same profile down below um, down below this is exactly what i'm talking about okay this is exactly what i'm talking about and if you were to join all these points it's going to look something like this okay well i'll give you an idea as to which edge is going to be visible and which edge will not be visible all right this obviously falls below a surface will not be visible not be visible this is again not be, this is also not visible this is not visible this is not visible this is not visible only this much portion is visible okay and this in fact is also not going to be visible all right now with the help of a red color i'm going to be darkening the portion that is visible in the isometric view and let me try to do that now let me darken this also so that we can have finishing touches so there you go this is the isometric view of this object whose front and top views were given to us thank you guys so guys that was all for my side for today i'll see you again with a new problem and with a new set of ideas until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing